Welcome to the Celtic Llama. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to crochet a ruffle flower. This one is really easy, so let's go ahead and jump on into it. You want to chain 20 stitches. And when it comes to this flower, it's one of those that you need to make multiples of because then it just gives your flower pot more depth and prettiness or any project really. All right, so here we have our 20 and you wanna count back to the sixth chain from the hook, that one right there. And you wanna insert your hook and do a single crochet. And then we will chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we will single crochet in the next stitch. And we will repeat this until we have six loops total. So chain five, single crochet into the next stitch. And you just wanna repeat that. Here we are at the end, we got our six loops total. So now you will want to chain five again. And in the first chain five that we did at the beginning, you want a single crochet back into that one. So we're kind of backtracking on our work. And then what you want to do is you want to turn your work over and you'll single crochet into the middle of your work. I'm just getting myself situated here. There we go, we'll insert and we will do a single crochet. And that is how you do a ruffle flower. Super easy. But the step that I like to do extra is I will tie off my yarn. And then I will take my tapestry needle and just weave the loose end of the yarn through the stem of the flower. And I think this honestly gives the stem of the flower a little bit more volume to it, which I think adds to your project. So just take your tapestry needle and just weave it in and out. Maybe. There we go. Pull through and then just kind of make sure it hasn't bunched up. So I'm just kind of stretching everything back out. And then we'll snip the tail from the start of our flower. And there you have it. This is how you crochet a ruffle flower. Now, like I said in the beginning, I think you should do at least six flowers and put them all together and that'll give it a really nice look to your project. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and I hope you have a happy crochet day.